If there's any reason why we need marketing, it is to actually stop this concept that we have to be the cheapest. And, you know, if you're working in teams, there is sometimes a bit of a pressure placed on an older because the salespeople say, boss, we're the most expensive. You don't have salespeople, you have order takers. We've actually got to turn them into problem solvers because they've got to show value before they make the withdrawal. Now, let's just say and go to the next page. What would be the damage in my business of discounting prices? And let's just say you're the owner and you're probably working 80 hours a week. You're hitting it hard. You're not only working 40 hours a week in your business, there's all the other time that you have to do stuff on weekends, and when you get home at 6 o'clock, you have food, you have dinner, and then you know you don't watch the TV, you fire up the PC because you've got to do the accounts. You've got to do all the other stuff that you can get through today. So you're working 80 hours a week. This is a struggle. And then you come up with the idea, well, you know what we're going to do? We're going to just going to discount. Because you don't have a strong enough pipeline, you're going to be towy, cash flow is not coming. So you say, what I'm going to do is my present margin, and let's just say your present margin is 30%. And you decide to discount your prices by 10%. You have... That, if you have a look at that, the third column, how much extra sales do you have to actually make to keep up with the same gross profit? 50%. I've actually got to grow my sales by another 50% just to keep up with the same gross profit. So you have now, potentially, if you are the business, you have moved from 80 hours to 120 hours. Go, wow, don't want to do that. And even just to fulfill those orders, you may actually have to in increase your labour costs. So you're going backwards. The key is, what would happen if I had the courage to, first of all, understand marketing is about value and had the courage to increase my prices after I had sold the sizzle? You've got to do your marketing before you increase the prices because people will buy value and value is a perception, not a reality. Let's just say that I was able to increase my prices by a measly, measly 4% over one year, which is not impossible because the CPI rate is 4% anyway. And you should be increasing your prices every year because if you're not increasing your prices every year and the CPI rate's going at 4%, in real terms, you're going backwards. And let's just say you're able to do that. You, on the same thing, your sales could decrease by 12%. That is a great position to be in because you know what you do? You get rid of your D-class clients. Because remember... Your business is there to serve you. It's not only having fun with your team members, it's having fun with your clients. Get to the point where you have a position where the D-class clients, and this is not applicable to retail, because in a retail you can't put a barrier there saying you can't come into our store because you look like a D-class client. But I would strongly suggest that if you are a service-based business, you will know the horror of working with a pain in the backside customer. The one that never pays their bills, one that always wants a discount, and one that is extremely high maintenance to the point that every time the phone rings from them, you actually go into a cold sweat. You know what I'm talking about? There is nothing more glorious than going to that customer and said, guess what? We're not right for you. What I'd like to do is I'd like to assist you, and I've determined here is a list of other organisations that I think can better serve your needs. Now, if you're really smart, you would sell that lead to that competitor. Okay, 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 okay. If you're really smart and entrepreneurial, you say to your competitor, I've got so many customers, unbelievable. I don't know what to do with them anymore. Could I possibly give you some of my customers to look after? 
They'll go, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, what are you going to give them? The Ds. They're going to pay you to take trouble off your hands. That's marketing. Wow, that's good selling. 